What's good? Man, I'm about to drop an R&B tape on y'all, bro. But look, we got another reaction today, guys. I only did that because it's a little left, and I don't drink the end of my water bottles. So that's why I did that nasty shit. <laughs> but look, if y'all haven't already, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. That way when I post go live, you'll be the first to know, man. First reaction channel, Smoking Papers. Don't let them lie to y'all and tell y'all otherwise. First reaction channel, Smoking Papers. And y'all know that. All right? And today, we got something different, man. You know, we always cover highlights. We always cover police activity. You know, we show the, the, the violence that goes on. We show the entertainment. And I told y'all we're going to be happy. We're going to be sad. We're going to be mad. We're going to watch it all. So if you got your joint, you got your wood, hopefully you ain't dirty enough and buying no fucking 99 cent blunt. If so, I forgive you. Just don't do it again. You dirty, by the way. You a dirty motherfucker, okay? But here, we got something a little different, bro. I'm switching it up on y'all, man. I told y'all I'm going to cover everything. It ain't nothing on this motherfucking planet that I will not cover if it look interesting or it's something I feel that need to be talked about or that need to be seen. So right here, we got... Tyron, Tyron, damn, I didn't put a whole nigga name on it, Tyron, Taiwan surrounded by Chinese warships and warplanes, so you got Russia fucking up Ukraine right now, you got Israel and Palestine, Palestine over there knocking each other's shit loose, they just had a reporter, a very known reporter get killed today, some, I don't know her name, but it start with an S, I seen it on Twitter, they had some reporter get killed, they tried to bury her ass, they tried to hide it and bury it. But, uh, and then now, you got Chinese being ready to step on Taiwan neck, bro. Which they've been doing that for the longest. Like, the last two years, they've been back practicing drills and moving shit on their borders. People just ain't been talking about that. Since COVID hit, they was, China was more on their neck before Russia popped off with Ukraine. And, you know, like, the, the, uh, the Israel-Palestine stuff started back fueling up this year. Bro, every year, it always start off with China and Taiwan. China been trying to get these niggas for the longest. Clicking on your ad. Why me? Why me? I don't give a fuck why me, because I'm skipping anyway. The world's attention is on Ukraine and what... All right, here we go. You, yeah, you see? You heard what she said? Why, why war, while tension is focused on war in Ukraine, the niggas forgot that that ain't the only country in the world. You got a slave trade going on in Libya. Nigga, you got, all, you got inflation worldwide. You got, man, look, uh, y'all better pray, man. The world's attention is on Ukraine and what Vladimir Putin will do next. This war is affecting Fuck, I wish Putin. I had a wood, bro. I hate doing my reactions, but look, if y'all don't know, bro, I ran out of weed this week, bro. I bought weed twice last week, and today is only Thursday. You know, I bought some last Monday, and then when I ran out, I bought some Thursday. Today is Thursday. I, I, it's been a week. Like, you know what I'm saying? Today is a week. I ran out yesterday. Like, bro, I'm not buying three times in one week. Like, nah, I'll buy Monday. So right now, I'm taking these little five days till Monday to detox, bro. And this shit is hard because I do weed with everything. I smoke before I go to work. I smoke when I record my music. I smoke when I go to the gym. I smoke when I record reactions. Like, bro, I smoke when I eat. smoke when I run 2K. Like, that's me. I be chilling, bro. I like that. Like, how motherfuckers have a sip to drink. I don't fuck with alcohol. I roll up quick. One of us, inflation is rising, shortages are growing, and everyone is being forced to pick sides. Bro, literally, everybody's being forced to pick side, bro. Gay versus not gay, abortion for not abortion, blue lives versus blue lives not matter, defund the police versus don't defund them, black lives versus non-black lives, like uh, Trump versus Biden. You got all kind of stuff, bro. You got like the, the whole feminism movie. You got man versus woman, bro. You got every, you got the pandemic. Are you for the vaccination or not, bro? Everything is called, is divided. Like pick a side. Everything is causing division, bro. Like, everything is causing division. Everything is being divided right before your eyes, bro. Can our world afford another war right now? And there's a reason why I ask this question. China could be preparing for war. The target is Taiwan. The People's Liberation Army is making dangerous moves. Bro, how is this shit not on the news? How is it, bro? It held military drills near Taiwan. Nigga, nigga, nigga. I ain't never served. I ain't never served in prison, in the military, in shit. I ain't never did nothing, but I guarantee you, I know invasion drills when I see it, nigga. Why else would you be practicing running up on barbed wire fences? Nigga, that's border. 
That's like, that's, nigga, they practicing. All right. Now, we know that China has been holding such drills for a while, but this time it's different. If you this practicing hopping over fences, running over barbed wires and shit, and, uh, seeking out landmines, bro, what is they practicing? They preparing for an invasion. They wouldn't be looking. They wouldn't be practicing for all of that shit. You practice how you play. They, not, they wouldn't be doing all of that if they don't plan on cracking this shit off soon. Time, the Chinese were practicing how to invade Taiwan. Nigga! I just said it! I just said it! I ain't never fucking signed in my life, nigga, but I know I got common sense. I ain't never jumped off the porch. I ain't never been locked up or nothing, but I got street smarts, nigga. I grew up in the hood. I ain't street, though. There's a difference between a hood nigga and a street nigga. I ain't street at all. But I know, man, I got common sense. I'm from the hood, bro. I know some shit when I see it. I know, nigga, I know motherfucking invasion drills when I see that. What drill would you be practicing? Like, look at this. You hide behind rocks. My nigga, like, look at what they're doing, bro. They're, all right. Why the Chinese indulging? I didn't got hot as hell, bro. What the fuck is that? Nigga, is that a FAMAS slash P90 with a Type 25 scope? Like, nigga. Did he just modify his own fucking Call of Duty weapon? This nigga got a P90 barrel with a FAMAS stock with the Type 25 three-round burst iron sight. What kind of eye? Being in such aggressive behavior. Thanks to the war in Ukraine, it's had some unintended I consequences for China. I would be surprised if that the shoot all of the above. One time, you shoot once, it's 223. Shoot again, it's a 7.62. Shoot again, it's a 300 black. I would be surprised if that nigga weapon shoot everything. To protect democracy in Taiwan are growing louder. Three recent look, 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 events explain the Beijing's... These niggas practice the same landmines! Yo! ...in Ukraine. It's had some unintended consequences for China. The calls to protect democracy in Taiwan are growing louder. Three recent events explain Beijing's desperation. Did y'all hear her? The scream for Taiwan's democracy is getting louder. They not saying, like, as in a good thing. They saying, bro... The screams of Taiwan yelling for help, yelling uh, SOS is getting louder and louder because they see they got little less and less and less time. But will they force China over the edge? Will China invade Taiwan? On Gravitas tonight, we'll discuss. First, let's tell you about the drills. The Chinese military conduct conducted them recently. We cannot confirm the date, but they're believed to have taken place sometime last week. All branches of the PLA were involved. <laughs> I knew I wasn't tripping, bro. I'm like, yo, they not just dumping old shit in the ocean. I'm like, bro, these niggas practicing like, um, uh, what is that shit, bro? Um, I can't think of the name, bro, but it's, uh, Torpedo. That motherfucker go underground. <laughs> right on impact. Like, yo, these motherfuckers dropping, they, bro, they out here just dropping this shit like it's mixtapes. They just over here, oh, we got water. Dropping torpedoes, nigga, like Jordan releases. Look. They're believed to have taken place sometime last week. Look at this shit. Look at this. April 1st on Saturday, that was the Toronto Fives. April 5th, next Saturday, that was the Great Twos. I mean, the Great uh, the great Threes, nigga. Like, bro, right here, those are Oreo Fives that follow on Saturday. Right here, nigga, that is the He Got Games. Like, dog. <laughs> These are the Flute Games right here. Like, bro, they dropping them bitches like releases. Into the... All right. Ain't no fish in that shit. All branches of the PLA were involved. Today, China shared some details, and they sound alarming. The island of, the island of Taiwan was surrounded from both sides. The Chinese Navy deployed a powerful aircraft, aircraft carrier, plus a large number of warplanes and warships, and conventional missiles. In other words, Taiwan was surrounded by the PLA, then they practiced... Exactly. I'm about to say, bro, don't, don't beat around the bush, shorty. I'm like, I hear what you're saying, but I want to see if you're going to do your job and say it, or you're going to be the typical news outlet and not put it out there. But she said it. In simpler words, they were completely surrounded. That's all you... I was waiting for you to say it. All of that you just said, you could have summed it up into, bro... China had their ass around it. All they had to do was, hey, let's get it. And they could have they could have came in from north, south, east, west, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest, all of that. Maneuvers. The moves they could make during an invasion. Look Taiwan at, was surrounded by the PLA. Then they practiced maneuvers. The moves they could make during an invasion. 
And there's no doubt about the intention behind this exercise. The Chinese state media is spelling it out. Look at the Global Times. This is what it says. The oh, 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 yeah. Well, no, never mind, never mind. I ain't gonna pause it because she's gonna read it for her. So we good. PLA drill was a partial rehearsal of a possible reunification by force operation. The Chinese military practice. Who that sound like? Who, who that sound like, y'all? The PLA exercise was a was a partial rehearsal of a possible reunification by force operation. Who that sound like? Don't they sound like Putin? Wasn't like last month, didn't you, uh, didn't you, wasn't it all over the news that China or Russia was teaming up or something when they started first putting them sanctions and shit out against Russia, saying we don't need their crops, they oil, they grain or whatever, you know, Ukraine's grain and all of that. Wasn't, wasn't China the first country Russia ran to and China came to them with open arms? Listen to what he's saying now a month later. He's saying the same shit Putin was saying. Uh, we're just over here for exercise purposes only. Exercise purposes is only until the time came when it brought us the time for everything. Everybody get caught slipping until that day came where it was the day for him to invade. And it changed from exercises to, nigga, this is a full out what we doing. What? A specific that ain't scenario. no fucking exercise? Yeah, it's an exercise. But then when you go to practice, you stretch and exercise before you do what? Practice how you play. If this is an exercise, you're simply practicing before the game. Like neutralizing Taiwan's military. Like cutting the militaries of the U.S. and Japan if they try to intervene. So they're preparing for all eventualities. Taiwan says China... Oh, do y'all hear this? Are y'all hearing this, bro? Japan and... Uh, U.S. and Japan. Who that sound like? Didn't Putin give off a similar threat? If anybody intervenes with the Ukraine, Russia in, uh, affairs, there will be serious consequences. Who that sound like? He's literally yeah, repeating Japan. the same nigga he working with. The same nigga he, he came with open arms. He's repeating the same shit, just in a different way. He's saying the same shit. If they try to intervene. So they're preparing for all eventualities. Taiwan says China continues to pose a threat. Japan is sounding the alarm. It says Ukraine's plight could be replicated in East Asia. Wait, what? What? I ain't get that part. I'm sorry, y'all. Her accent is thick, so it's hard. Like, with the headphones in, believe it or not, it's harder to understand her with the headphones in. Believe it or not, her accent is thick. Ukraine's plight could be replicated in... Mm -hmm. All right, let me stop playing, bro. I see that right there. Let me keep my comment to myself. That is not necessary. East Asia. In other words, bro, the, the prime minister of Japan just said, bro, they sound an alarm. Like, fuck waiting for them to invade. Nigga, we on, we on go right now. We on go right now. That way, when they come, we ain't got to get ready. We right here waiting on you motherfuckers. We're going to be right here at the door waiting. That's what they saying. That's what he's saying. Fuck waiting. We're not listening to them saying this is exercises. We're not waiting for them to come and do what they finna do. Bro, we finna meet y'all niggas at the light. Pull up. Oh, pull up? Okay, bet. Drop the attic. We coming right now. Okay, bro. And then the nigga, bro, man, he meets your ass right up the street. He's not finna let you pull up to his house. He meets you right up the street. That nigga parked at the gas station up the block from the house. As soon as he see your car coming down the street, he right by. Then them niggas go, they really pulling up. Now he right behind you. Then he caught you at the light. Like, bro. No, that's what he's saying. Bro, we not finna play them games, nigga. We, if y'all sitting here doing this, then we, we finna be ready. We coming with it. Y'all gonna have to do that if you gonna do that. Y'all ain't finna sneak us calling it exercises and catch us with our guard down. I said, bro, y'all better learn how to critically read, like what they taught y'all in English class. Fuck what this says, Taiwan surrounded by Chinese warships and warplanes. Critically read. Summarize what this shit said. Taiwan... In any, in any given time, is going to be invaded by China. But what you see is Taiwan surrounded by Chinese warships and warplanes. Like, bro, critically read. Listen to what these niggas be saying, and then listen to what they're telling you. With regards to Taiwan, peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait is critical not only for Japan's security, but also for the state. And just in case that didn't make sense, critically read is like, basically, like, nigga... Like, basically, okay, so look, 89% of communication is non-verbal, right? So if a motherfucker's sitting here doing this like this, right, and he just like this, he just, you know, he just steady doing all of this, he ain't saying shit, but what is he telling you with his body language? Like, bro, he hostile. 
something wrong. He want to try something. Like, bro, he's all, like, you know what I'm saying? He's He got his mind on something. Don't let the motherfucker actually come hit you or actually rob you for you to be announced that it's a robbery. Bro, see the movement, see the gestures. Okay, it's that. He shouldn't have to tell you. It shouldn't have to happen for you to see that it's that. You know, a motherfucker walking up on you, do something, nigga, swing. That shouldn't have to click that if he get too close, he's going to swing first. Nigga, that should be common sense. Okay, hey, he take another step, I am going to swing. Because I know where we're going with this. Like, bro, that's what I'm saying. Ability of international society. They know what they saying, the bro. They like, bro, fuck all that. Y'all don't have to come to do that. Peaceful resolution. Fuck all that beating around the bush, old practice drills. Nigga, y'all don't have to come do that. Because we ready. We sound an alarm right now. That's what he just said. And through dialogue to issues surrounding Taiwan. And the situation will be watched carefully from that perspective. Japan says it is closely watching China. Beijing is not impressed. It has accused Tokyo of exaggerating and hyping the China threat. Japan has frequently taken advantage of some diplomatic activities to talk about China, exaggerate regional tensions. That nigga said, I ain't worried, bro. It's simply y'all just boosting them. <laughs> Did y'all hear her, bro? The, the nigga, the, it, he, she said in Beijing, they basically said we are not worried. Y'all just boosting China's military. Y'all making them seem like a bully and they not. That's what he just said. I'll go back for y'all in case you didn't hear. Accused Tokyo of exaggerating and hyping the China threat. See? China. Beijing is not in. We're going to go from right there. Japan says it is closely watching China. Beijing is not impressed. It has accused Tokyo of exaggerating and hyping the China threat. In other words, they're not taking them niggas serious. You got one side that's like, we sound on the bell, bro. We not playing no games. You got the other side like, bro, I believe in when them niggas speak. Like, that's what he just said. I believe in when they come step. Like, bro, by that point, it's going to be too late. Because if they really come in the step, all they got to do is, the only thing saving you is if they miss. Other than that, you caught. Japan has frequently taken advantage of some diplomatic activities to talk about China, exaggerate regional tensions, and hype the so-called yeah, China boy. threat. Japan is doing this to find excuses for its own military expansion and to undermine mutual trust and cooperation among regional countries. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know which how not I managed to make a six-minute video of 17 minutes and 30 seconds long, bro. I'm going to stop it right there, bro. If y'all want to watch this and team up and catch up on it yourselves, Type that in, you see the channel right there, W-I-O-N, or you can just type in that word, you know. Yeah, you're right. I tried, but I wasn't fist to because I fucked it up in my head. I was like, I'm not going to try it. So you can type that word in, and it's 9 out of 10, going to pull up all videos with that word, bro. But y'all stay safe, bro. As y'all can see, bro, times, is, nigga, this shit finna get worse and worse. Inflation is getting worse and worse. Did y'all see them numbers, bro? Since August, since last April of 2021, bro, inflation had jumped 8.3% in a year. Within the last month, it went up 0.4%. That is bad, bro. That is bad. I don't know what the fuck everybody talking about. Oh, we showing some signs of it going down. No, we not. That shit been doing that all year, the past two, three years. It'll be kicking our ass and then it'll stop for about a week or two and then go right back up. Why are y'all still getting excited? Y'all don't see the pattern? Y'all don't see the pattern, bro? But y'all be safe, man. Stay out of the way and protect yourself, man. Stay sane, you know, and do what you can, bro. Try to make it until, hey, until your time up, I guess, bro. Like, shit, in these times, nigga, shit getting crazy.